Okay, so next let's talk about the attitude of gratitude and the achievement list, which you'll find on your page 46. And before I do that, I'd like to tell you a story. See, around 2007, my daughter, she said, Daddy, we never get to see you. And I realized I'd spent sort of 700 nights or so in hotel rooms over a five-year period. And, uh, you know, at that stage, life was pretty good. We had four investment properties. We bought both our houses, uh, both our cars, cash. Uh, life was good. And I decided to resign, and I set up two businesses, a mortgage business and a leasing finance business. And the aim was to go semi-retired. And, well, you know, that was 2007. And beginning 2008, oh, no, the recession happened. Yeah, the recession happened. And... Unfortunately, with those two businesses, what's important is, of course, is for the banks to lend money. And by around 2010, we lost everything. We'd lost everything. In fact, I had to uh, even sell my car so that I could put food on the table. And so, you know, going from wanting to be semi-retired and life going being very good to all of a sudden, boom, hitting rock bottom and life being a little bit crappy, one might say. Now, of course, we can talk about cause and effect and say, if I was at the effect side of life, you know, the banks did it to me, uh, you know, uh, as opposed to the cause side of life and say, okay, well, what did I need to learn from that? The moral of the story is that, you know, sometimes we just get bogged down and we feel that the whole world is on top of us. And it's like everything is, you know, conspiring against us. And now and then, you know, I hear clients that say, you know what, they, they just don't know what to do. And the thing is that we always have something to be grateful for. You know, even those darkest days, I could be grateful that, you know, we have a roof over our head. Be grateful for our health. Be grateful for, you know, having uh, food in our tummies. And there is always, always, always to be something to be grateful for. And you know, I don't know if you've heard the saying, the sweet can't be as sweet without the bitter. And so, you know, sometimes life happens and things do get a little bit tough. But what's important for us is to have this attitude of gratitude. You see, because if we can't appreciate what we have, if we can't appreciate, uh, you know, the, the joys and the experiences that we have every single day, then... I don't think that we can really ever appreciate anything in its fullness. We can never really appreciate the entirety or get that real, real sense of appreciation for the things that come our way when things are really good. And so the attitude of gratitude is a wonderful tool for those times when the client feels like, you know what, life is really on top of me, life is really difficult. It's just every evening before they go to bed, is just sit down and write down five things. Five things for which they are grateful for. Whether that's a full tummy, a bed to sleep in, a family that loves them, being alive, being healthy, having two arms, whatever it might be. And the idea is to every evening, you know, sometimes some of these things might overlap. The idea is to, to stretch our mind and to see what else is there that I can be grateful for. What else is there that I can be appreciative of. And say, so, you know what? Life actually still is good. And so even in those darkest days, when really, really, you know, there's that day where it's really tough, I can page back and have a look and say, you know what? I have this already. And I can be appreciative for that and that and that and that and that. And it's a great, great tool again to create awareness. The next tool, of course, we've got is the achievement list. And similarly, you know, we might uh, from time to time run into obstacles and that belief of being able to achieve something you know, might not quite be as, as high as that your beliefs might be ordinarily. And so taking the achievement list, very similar in doing the, the attitude of gratitude, is just writing down every evening, you know, every morning, writing down three or five things that you've achieved. So there are five things that you can say, you know what, and, and this can be anything. This can be from, you know, doing your first 10 meter swim to uh, learning how to drive, to getting that award, to uh, completing a race, 
to completing a course, whatever it might be. And again, what this does is it builds on our confidence. It builds on our confidence so that we can really go out and have that belief that we can actually achieve. And you know, again, as we look back at the, the things that we've achieved in the past, we can say, well, I have done that in the past. So this new thing, this new challenge that I've got, was well, not actually anything that's, that's new to me because I already have done some, something similar. So how did I do it in the past? What were the skills that I had to employ? Where did I go to for advice? What, what did I need to do to assist me to be able to do that? And so I can learn from that and draw on that knowledge to be able to move forward and achieve this next goal or this next task or, and really have that belief that I'm able to do that. So those are two wonderful tools. And you know, I would suggest if you have some time and if it is something that uh, you, know, you find benefit in, is actually doing these for yourself. Create your Attitude of Gratitude Diary as well as your achievement list.